Hi guys, thanks so much for tuning in to today's YouTube video. My name is Larissa Al and I am a freelance makeup artist and this is my YouTube channel Parker Kate. On Parker Kate we feature lifestyle, beauty, and fashion content. So today I created this very universal and wearable daytime glam look. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, please keep on watching. I'm going to be using the Dalton Hydrolux Smoothing Foundation and this is a gel based foundation. It's going to be taking a damp beauty sponge and just applying this foundation just to my face as a base and the reason why I really like this foundation is it's because it's kind of a sheer to medium coverage which means it's going to be super easy to kind of build up so it's really nice for daytime if you want a really like light layer of just a little bit of coverage and you get to still see your skin peeking through or it can be built up to more of a medium to full coverage and then another thing that's really great about this foundation is that you don't need a powder to set it but like everything I do I use a powder so I'm just basically using stippling motions to press the product into my skin. The reason why you want to use stippling or bouncing motions on your skin is because you want to be pressing the product in and not kind of just swiping it all over the place. So once this dries down a bit, I'm going to be going in with concealer and I'm going to be using the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer by It Cosmetics. This is anti-aging and waterproof and I love this stuff. You only need the tiny, tiniest bit of amount. So what I do is I usually put it on the back of my hand because this is a very full coverage concealer and then I'm going to warm it up with my fingers and then apply it in tapping motions with my finger. So I'm just applying this to the under eye area and then also onto the eyelid and the reason why I apply my concealer on the eyelid is just to kind of neutralize it so we have a nice base and to double as an eyeshadow primer. Now I'm going to go in and set my under eye concealer quickly just to do that I'm going to be going in with the IT Cosmetic Bye Bye Pore press powder and this is in a translucent shade which just means it's going to go on invisible. So I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and just stipple the powder on top of the eyelid and underneath the under eye. Alright guys I'm just going to go in and contour with a cream Product. This one is the Matchstick in Amber by Fenty Beauty. And I'm just going to go into all of my contour areas and around the perimeter of my face. Just kind of splotching this all over the place and then I'm just going to blend it out with a damp beauty blender. So I'm going to go in and set all of that contour color and I'm going to be using a powder bronzer. And for the powder bronzer today, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury. This is their Filmstar Bronze and Glow Palette. So I'm going to be going into the darker side here, which is also the bronzer side. So for that, I'm using a pointed Real Techniques brush, and I'm just going to be kind of stippling and blending that in. For eyebrows, I'm just going to quickly fill them in using this Urban Decay product. This is the Brow Endow in Taupe Trap. Alright guys, and now it's time to move on to eyes, and for that I'm going to be using the Dalton Master Eye Palette. The reason why I love this palette is because the colors in here are pigmented, easy to blend, and they're universal. What does that mean? When it's universal, it's a palette that anyone of any skin tone can use. And there's no crazy trendy colors. They're colors that you can wear every day. You can make a smoky eye. So it's a really nice versatile palette to have. So this is what it looks like right here. So I'm going to show you the colors that I'm going to be going in with. Okay, so I'm just going to be taking a fluffy brush. This is a Morphe 433 fluffy brush. And I'm just going to be digging into kind of this skin tone color right there. So just starting with that color, I'm just going to be sweeping that into my crease. So once that is applied, I'm going to be taking the same exact fluffy brush and going into the darker brown shadow right beside it. And I'm going to be focusing this color onto the outer corner of my eye. So... Then next I'm going to be using my fingers and I'm going to be taking this color right here. It's a really pretty shimmery color. And I'm just going to be placing that onto the center of the eyelid and the inner corner. Now I'm going to be doing the same thing to the other eye. 
darkest color that we used. And I'm just going to be applying that to the lower lash line. Alright guys, so in true Mercury retrograde fashion, my camera overheated, got really hot and shut off mid-filming, but now we're back and everything's good. So up next, I want to show you one of my favorite Doll 10 products. This is called the Doll 10 Illegal Eyes Mascara. The reason why I like this mascara is because it's pretty comparable to my favorite one, which is the it Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, and this one has definitely seen um, better days, so I need to pick up a new one of these. But I'm going to show you why I love this one and why it's pretty comparable. It's because it makes your eyelashes really nice and separated, full of volume and black. And in my opinion, you don't really need to wear falsies when you apply this stuff. I'm really trying not to breathe here, guys. I don't like poke myself in the eye. But this mascara, is, it's really nice. It's a thin formulation. It's not overly wet and it's not overly dry. It kind of looks like I'm wearing falsies, but I'm not but it's all in the mascara here. Okay guys, so now I'm moving on to lips, and for lipstick today I've got three options. Now these are from Doll 10, and these three lipsticks are sold in a kit with correlating blushes, which I'm really excited about because I have a really hard time matching your blush with your lipstick. It's kind of like a makeup artist trick that it looks more cohesive and coordinated and nothing clashes. So I'm gonna show you what the options are for the lipsticks. This one here is called Knockout. These are all um, lusters. So it's like a really pretty mauve. The next one is called Call Me, which is a little bit more on the um, pink side. I think it's, yep, yeah, Call Me. That's a really pretty. And then the third option, this one is called Tempt me. And this one I feel like it's almost a mix of the first two if you were to combine them. So, so I'm going to be applying Call Me Today to the lips and for Luminoso number five. I'm going in with that Luxie blush one more time, blush brush. I'm just going to be applying this to the apples of my cheeks. And I think a coral blush looks really good on all types of skin tones. This one's got a little bit of gold in it too. So it also can double as a highlighter if you don't really want to go crazy. Now I'm just going in with this highlighter by Pure Cosmetics. This is their Afterglow highlighter, just to highlight the high points of my face, my nose, and my cupid's bow. We're done. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed my video today. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I definitely appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. All the products that I use today are going to be listed into the description box below.